my name is Avery and I love books and yes I am total trash. <laughs>
thinking about that he might be gay. Like, I haven't read a lot of those. I bet there are, like, a bunch out there. I just haven't read them because I just haven't come across a lot. And Rainbow Rouse, obviously one of my favorite writers of all time. She has written Fangirl, Eleanor Park, all of the ones that I really love. And I love how she represented them. I love how at the beginning, Simon's like, I freaking hate Baz and la la la. And then at the end of the book, like, they're totally in love. I have so many quotes that I keep all around my room. One of the main ones is I'm going to die kissing Simon Snow. Yes, yes please, yes please. I love them so much. They're so cute. I love fan art of them. They are gorgeous together. And at the end when he has his wings and his tail, Baz is like cuddling up with him. They also dance. Oh my god, I forgot they dance at that party. Everyone sees them together and it's so cute. <laughs> And we also have that angst, by the way, in the beginning of the book. That's why he, like, hates him. I love it because he hates him and then he loves him. And then Baz the whole entire time is like, I'm in love with Simon. But I'm gonna act like I hate him so he doesn't know that I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love them! <laughs> They're so cute! And I need more! I wish we had more. I wish this was a series. Oh, okay. I'm done now. <laughs> the next book couple that I have is from The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And this couple's name is Wanda and Ian. Or Wanderer and Ian, if you want to be specific. I love them a lot. I am obsessed with them. I have much fan art of them. I love the fan art of them, like the book couple of them, not the movie couple of them. No, the book couple is so much better because when Wanda gets put into her permanent body at the end of the book, she is so cute and tiny compared to Ian. She's so cute. They're so cute. There's fan art of them and he's like picking her up and holding her and like she can't even touch the floor because she's so short and he's so tall and it's so cute and I need more of them. We have been told that she was gonna write a book too like five years ago but no such thing has happened and I'm sad. I love them a lot. They're so cute. I love how Ian at first is very skeptical about Wanda and kind of maybe a little bit hates her at first when he meets her but then as he gets to know her he like finally understands yes she's not from earth but that doesn't mean that she doesn't think and have feelings and is trying to help them all and he learns to love her so when wanda is like telling everyone hey i'm gonna leave i'm gonna go to another planet i'm leaving and then ian's like no no you're staying with me and she basically tells him like ian if you saw who i really am if you held me in your hand you would be disgusted you would not want to be with me and he was like lies like no i would love you and then when she wakes up in her permanent body at the end i love how stephanie writes he was with her the entire time he didn't leave her side whatsoever until she woke up like he was like next to her he wouldn't leave her it was so cute and then when she woke up he like told her like one of the first things he said to her was wanderer i held you in my hand and you were beautiful i want to cry <laughs> I want to cry. I want to cry. <laughs> that didn't happen in the movie. That's one of the reasons why I didn't like the movie as much as the book because it didn't have my favorite quote. But anyway, yes, I love them. They're so cute. So the last book couple that I'm going to talk to y'all about today that I'm completely obsessed with is from Marissa Meyer's The Lunar Chronicles, but more specifically from Cress. And that book couple is Thorn and Cress. This is also my favorite book in the Lunar Chronicles series because of Thorn and Cress. I am obsessed. Also, I just love Rapunzel books. I have read so many Rapunzel retellings. I just love anything with Rapunzel. I love how witty Thorn is and I love how mousy Cress is because I saw myself in her because I am a mousy human being. Ah, they're so cute at the beginning. He's like, what the hell? This girl is so freaking weird she doesn't talk she has long hair that goes on for miles like i don't want to really talk to her she seems really weird and cress is like obsessed with him think about your celebrity crush and then you meet your celebrity crush that is how she acted but then like he ends up reciprocating the same feelings for her so she got her celebrity crush <laughs> one of my favorite parts about this couple was how thorn fell in love with her while he was blind and she was helping him and he was teaching her things and showing her things while he was blind and like caring for her and i love them they're so cute they just get even cuter as the books go on also one of my favorite scenes of 
all time is when they like sneak into that really prestigious ball and they have to wear like really extravagant clothes and everything. First of all, Crest is wearing a butterfly dress. I'm obsessed with butterflies. She's wearing a butterfly dress <laughs> and I love it. And then Thorn goes in there with her. This is the point where like they have kind of like have a thing going on, but like nothing's happened and they haven't really expressed their feelings to each other, but they kind of know that they like each other in a sense. And then we get to the part where Cress like goes and does something during the ball and she comes back and she finds Thorn making out with this lunar person and she's like crushed and heartbroken. And I'm like, what the hell Thorn? And then we later realized when Cress confronts him about it and like sees him and like he runs after her he's like Cress that lunar woman was showing me you she was pretending to be you like I wasn't making out with the person I thought it was you and my heart just melted <laughs> I died, I died, I died, I wanna cry. I love them a lot. I have a bunch of fan art of them too that I'm obsessed with. Yeah, okay, I'm done now. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are some couples that I am completely obsessed with and I could probably talk forever about them. I have much fan art of them. I collect many quotes from them as couples and they're so, so, so fantastic. I love them so much. I want a man like every single one of these men in these book couples. If only that could happen in real life. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye.